Next question. My name is Ahmadullah. Currently, I don't have any specific profession. I live in Kabul, Afghanistan. My question is that if I follow all the rules of Islam, then 90% I will go to jail. So what should I do? For example, praying according to Sunnah, ordering good and forbidding evil. We promised our Rabb to listen and obey. What should I do? This brother Ahmadullah, who is from Kabul, Afghanistan, is saying that if I follow Islam 100%, the 90% chances that I'll go to jail. If I read the Salah as per the Quran and Sunnah, and if I enjoy what is good and forbid what is wrong, if I do Dawah, I'll go to jail. Brother, I disagree with you. I disagree with you that if you follow Islam 100%, 90% you'll be in jail. This is your false conception. I know many people coming from Egypt and telling me, you know, Brother Zakir, if I grow a beard, I'll be in jail. That's the reason I shave. Illogical. I have many of, many of my friends, many of my Muslim colleagues who are Dais, who have, mashallah, very big beard. They are giving dawah since tens of years in Egypt. They come on television, they give public lectures. No one is arresting them. So this is your misconception. Yes, there may be cases where Muslims in Egypt having a beard may have been arrested. They may be doing something wrong or unnecessary attracting attention. But to say that this is a general wrong, general norm and that is the reason I shave my beard. I have an Egyptian friend who when he goes to Egypt, he shaves his beard, goes to Egypt, come back after two months again grows. I said, what is this? Yes, you have to do that. And then I'll be arrested. These are just false assumptions. There are thousands of people who I know in Egypt who keep a beard, they leave the country, they come back, they have long beard. No problem at all. You, you just open the channel. There are so many Egyptian shiuk. There are so many Egyptian dais who are coming on the television, who are coming on social media, who have big beard, mashallah, long beard. So this same way, this brother is saying, I am from Kabul. If I follow Islam 100%, 90% I'll be in jail. If I follow, if I pray according to Quran and Sunnah, I'll be in jail. What nonsense you're talking. I know many of the people in Afghanistan, the Afghani government, they respect scholars. Though the Afghani government is Hanafi, they respect all the scholars who are Salafi, who are Shafi, so this is all nonsense that you are saying that if I follow, if I read Salah according to Quran, Sunnah, I'll be in jail. Yes, if you create a fitna, like if Afghanistan is a Sunni majority country, and if you go and create a fitna, if you go and give a talk, a public talk, oh, it is fard to do rafatain, it is fard to do this, and you create a fitna and they arrest you, then that is wrong. No, no scholar says that it is fard. Even the Shafis believe it is mustahab. It's not a fard. So, if you create a fitna and you spread wrong information about Islam or try and create animosity between the Muslim brothers and if they stop, that is the duty. So, don't tell me that if you follow Islam 100% in Afghanistan, you'll be arrested 90%. This is your misconception. I know many of my colleagues who are Salafis, who are Shafis, who, who the Afghanis, the Taliban, they respect. And they listen to them. So you saying this is only hearsay or it is your assumption which is wrong. So please don't lay such wrong allegations, whether it be against Taliban or against anyone else or against the Afghan government. Yes, there are cases which I know, but there may be some other background to it. It may be a coincidence. I'm aware that the situation of Egypt is also not good. But to put a blanket rule that anyone who has a beard will be arrested is wrong. And we as Muslims, we should be proud to be Muslim. If the label shows your intent, you should wear it. I, mashallah, everywhere I go, many countries of the world, I have a mashallah, a long beard, I wear a cap, and I have a trouser above the ankle. I am more obvious. Not only having a long beard, I also wear a cap, even with trouser above the ankle. So this is a misconception that you have regarding the Afghanistan government. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah guide the people who has seen to it that they have brought justice to Bangladesh and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may he give them strength, the support and the hikmah to see to it that they improve the condition of the people of Bangladesh and see to it that they are again able to restore the economy and make Bangladesh a good, good mashallah country. Hope that answers the question.